this wonderful cathedral. Listen, I was watching you across South Main Street. You're a little fast. You see how fast he was. He was flying, and I think that's awesome. You know, and nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. You were ripping down the street there, uh, and Dylan is visiting with us this morning because Dylan and I had a great conversation on the radio. Uh, Dylan's a DJ. And the company is called Strauss Entertainment, right? Yeah. <coughs> Strauss Entertainment. Yeah, sir. Um, and when you and I were talking on the radio, you told me you told me something that just really struck a, a nerve with me about starting your own business. Because we were at this uh, this Greater Waynesboro Chamber of Commerce. It was a business expo. You're hanging out with a bunch of businessmen. Yes. So why? And you wanted to be a DJ all your life. Yes. I don't know why. I mean, I'm in the business. I don't necessarily. Uh, I don't necessarily encourage that. But tell me about why did you decide to start your own business, Dylan? Well, sometimes I wouldn't do it myself. Right. <laughs> I think most business people wonder why themselves sometimes. You know, you're pulling your hair out and trying to keep things together and deal with crazy people. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, the reason I. Doing the business is because uh, uh, all I want is a normal life. Yeah. And I know for that to happen, I'm going to be, I'm going to need to be financially stable. Right. And I want to. Get married, something, and have my own kids. Meaning, I'm going to have to be financially stable enough where I can hire a full time caregiver so my wife can tend to the kids and not have to worry about taking care of me right. and Will when we go out on dates mm -hmm. and so forth. We, she won't be burnt out because she has to take care of me. I, I, I would be able to afford a 24 hour caretaker and yeah. she will be able to live somewhat of a normal life yeah. as a married wife. Sounds more, uh, it sounds nicer than some of the men I know. Listen, I gotta tell you what, you know, people that have a little roadblock in front of them or a large roadblock in front of them and find a way to step over it. Those are the people I admire the most. Yeah. You know, not a bunch of namby-pamby snowflakes running around with their little signs being PO'd yeah. about absolutely nothing in the world when there are people that truly are faced with, you yeah. know, mountainous issues and they fight to overcome them. They blame no one. Yeah. Dylan clearly blames no one. You have a plan. You yes. have a, you know, you have a whole roadmap for your life. I applaud that. Yeah. I, I am absolutely, I admire the heck out of that. In the business, you, when I saw Dylan, he had just, uh, it was Saturday morning, and he had a crew out the night before someplace in Shippensburg doing some DJ and stuff there. So yes. you've got people. So you got, so Strauss Entertainment, and it's S T R O U S E, right? Yes. Dylan Strauss, but StraussEntertainment.com is the website. Pretty good looking website, too. It's got some Thank show, you. Got a show biz up there. You're, uh, you're doing all right there. How many people do you have working for you? And I know they're not all full time, but and when you get a gig, you engage some people, right? Yes. Okay. How many people you got in the crew? On the busy spring, summer day, I probably have about seven to nine guys working for me. Seven to nine guys. You got yes, more. Sir. You got more people than I got working. I got nobody working for me. I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you. It's a little bit. We got to talk a little bit. All right. So, and and with Strauss Entertainment, um, you also have like bounce houses, yes. and you've got uh, what do you do? Photo booths as well. Yes. All right, yes. and, and and so you started this. How many years ago, Dylan? Back in 2010, I had the idea, and the end of 
2010. I'm ready to come true. Okay, 2010. That's awesome. Starting your own business. And when people ask you, you know, at that time, Dylan, you're how old when you decide to start your business? Uh, 20 something? 22, 22 or so? Okay. And, and, and did you have people go, hey, Dylan, you know, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe, maybe you should do something different. Well, did people say that to you? I've had many people try to tell me that they were disabled and they could barely do it. Let alone myself and I'm like, nah, that's that's not even feasible right. for me for me to hear that. So yes, I I basically ignored everybody and did what I feel like I was designed to do and I, I, I'm, it's been six and a half years, so. You making some money? Ah. Uh, not enough. Not enough. Right, I like that. Never. That's a smart answer. It's, it's never enough. Right, it's never enough. Right. But, but I, I am planning on starting a non profit for disabled people like myself to help, to help raise money for disabled people that need wheelchairs that insurance yeah, doesn't, cover. doesn't cover and help vets as well. And I don't know where you're finding the time. I mean, you've got your DJ business, that keeps you going. you got to manage seven to nine people, and that's some pain <laughs> right there, you know what? And then you're going to try doing this as well. That's good, good for you. Yes. Good for you. So Strauss Entertainment is the company, and you do, you do weddings, and you got crew here that does some games, you know, like a, like a, a normal DJ business would do. you got the photo booths, you got bounce houses. You had said you had bounce houses, yes, too? Yes. Good grief. Yes. <laughs> If you ask my employees, they hate me when I send, send out that house. Right. But yes, yep. we do do that house as well. Yeah, I've done that. Have you ever seen these bounce houses? Oh, yeah, I, I have kids. Right. I Trust me, I've seen them, I've been in them, I've fallen down in them, and they are pretty <laughs> awesome. And I tell you what, birthday party extravaganza. You're looking best. Uh, sweet 16 party for kids have bounce houses. Right. I'm telling you, girls love that. <laughs> love that. You know, no I, doubt. I had to, uh, I, I was invited to set up with the folks that put on a Project Big Love. And one of the projects they had me do, and I can see why your employees would hate you, uh, is they, they put me, scrawny little me, out trying to unroll one of these bounce houses <laughs> and then to, uh, stake the thing, these like, big, <clears throat> these big huge stakes yes, that you gotta make sure you put those things in so, or the bounce house is gonna fly out and hit Dylan in the noggin or something <laughs> like yes, that. And, and I'm like, listen, I, I am more logistics than I am hard labor here. Sean Duty put me on bounce house. That's where you belonged. I but, mean, quite well, honestly, that's where you belonged. I belong in the bounce house. Well, you belong in the bounce house and then we just kind of folded up on you, but oh, nonetheless, nice. yeah. Kids love bounce houses. Teenage girls love bounce houses. They are fun. They bring that kid out in you, and I like them. StraussEntertainment.com is the company. Dylan is the man. And Dylan said to me when we were sitting in Waynesboro, he said, I didn't want to sit in front of a TV or a computer screen for the rest of my life. And immediately, I fell in love with you. So I, I love what you're doing in your business. You want to leave us with anything because we gotta we gotta go on to another segment here. But I want to make sure you got a parting shot. You tell us. Just, just remember, anything is possible. You put your mind to it, and don't let anyone tell you you can't. That's great. I agree. Spot on. I agree. Spot on. All right, Dylan. Thanks for dropping by the radio station, News Talk 103.7 FM. We're gonna find.